Hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner. Been sitting here for a while trying to come up with an idea for a video. And do you ever have those days where you just feel out of ideas? I've been making these videos since April 2009, and it is currently March 2022. So sometimes I feel like the ideas are all gone. Um, but I was, I was thinking about John Bonham. So I recently got this guitar uh, from Fender. It's a Chris Shiflet signature Tele Deluxe. Um, Tele Deluxe meaning it's got two humbucker pickups and separate. It's it's it plays and is set up a lot like a Les Paul or a 335, which I love my 335 over there. Um, separate volume and tone for each humbucker pickup. Um, but I do like having the having the selector switch here versus on my 335. It's down here for the pickup selector. It's hard to get to. Up here, kind of like on a Les Paul, it's just easier to get there. So I've been having a lot of fun with just dialing in killer, just cranked guitar amp tone, and then messing with the volume knobs and the different pickup positions to get tons of different tones just without stomping on any extra pedals and things. So um, my head's been very much in Led Zeppelin land, which is, uh, that's the kind of, that can't talk, Jimmy Page played a similar style guitar. He played a, a traditional Les Paul, but... That same idea of pickup switch up here, two humbuckers, separate volume controls. And it's fun to just watch him, just a three-piece band plus a singer, um, just fill the arenas with sound with just one guitar and a Marshall. Anyway, uh, so just been on a bit of a Zeppelin kick lately and watching a bunch of videos, mostly of them live, listening to some of their records, but mostly just fascinated by just watching them play live on YouTube. There's a lot of cool footage out there. Rewatch some of the... Some of that um, movie, It Might Get Loud, which is Jimmy Page, The Edge from U2, and Jack White. It's a fun fun video. came out a while ago. Um, and so for some reason today, I was thinking about Zeppelin and thinking about specifically about John Bonham, the drummer, who I, I'm not a drummer. I'm no expert on drummers, but I would imagine you would not be hard-pressed to find professional drummers who would state that John Bonham was one of the best. If not the best drummer in history, certainly on the list, the Hall of Fame of, of drummers, right? Um, just an incredible feel. From what I can understand, a very technically interesting drummer. Like he played beats and things that maybe weren't, they were off the beaten path, so to speak, um, while also having incredible groove and feel and all that. And as you probably know, uh, he died at the age of 32 from essentially too much too much alcohol. And what was interesting, I found an article, and this, this may be common knowledge. This also may just be completely not true, but it was interesting, um, saying that, so he died while Zeppelin was rehearsing for a North American tour. Uh, it was the first time they toured the North America in, I want to say, three years. So they were rehearsing, and... Uh, Bonham and Robert Plant, the singer, were riding together in the car to go rehearse. And Bonham said to him, he said, I'm so, something along the lines of, I'm so tired of playing drums. Everyone's better than me. You play the drums, I'll sing. Like he was just over it. And it turns out later that night is when he died. He had something like 40 drinks of vodka. Um, they put him to bed. Propped him up with pillows, had him on his side like you're supposed to do, but somehow he ended up on his back, drowned in his own vomit. Just terrible, sad, sad story. Um, but I'm, I'm just, I was so, so fascinated and 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 sh a little bit shaken by that idea that this John freaking Bonham died believing he wasn't good enough as a drummer. Now, maybe it was just one of those moments of imposter syndrome that we all have, but more just as, as, as a person who I, I want to perform well, whether it's music or video performance or job performance or income or whatever it is, and it's just there's always this drive to perform, and, and some of that's very good, right? Um, I'm glad that John Bonham had the drive to perform, or maybe we would have never had Led Zeppelin, right? Um, but... Thinking, there's also on the so other side of that, there's that imposter syndrome, that idea that so many people are better than me at fill in the blank. Therefore, I'm worthless. 
And just seeing someone who is so obviously talented also feel those same things was such an interesting kind of thought exercise for me um, to be reminded that we're all just we're all just little kids just trying to get some approval, trying to find some meaning, uh, and as musicians trying to create something. And it made me it made me think. Aside from being just really sad, it's just a sad story. Um, it also makes me. It makes me want to encourage both you and I to just make the art we were meant to make, right? If if my next album ends up selling millions of copies and I win a Grammy, that'd be cool. It's probably not going to happen. But I still want to make that that album. I still want to make that music. I, I feel like I was one of the things I was made to do was to create good music and... It's not going to like, or, or this YouTube channel. There are plenty of people with better YouTube channels than mine. Um, one option is to pack it up, call it a day. I'll never be, I'll never have 10 million subscribers, so why bother? Or just keep making what I was made to make and let the chips fall where they may. Uh, I think of Van Gogh, the artist. He had a really troubled life. I, I apparently have been really into troubled people lately, but he... If you have, if you've studied his story, it's just a very sad story. He had essentially just a life chock full of failure uh, and disappointment, and also combined with some mental illness and just just very sad. But he really didn't have any commercial success as a painter till after he died. I forget the number, but he he I think you can count on one hand the number of paintings he actually even sold. And now his 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 artwork is literally priceless. Um. I'm really glad that Van Gogh made the art that he was put here to make. Even though he didn't see the he didn't see that come to fruition. Um and I'm not saying that we all need to make what we're going to make and we'll <laughs> we'll have this huge posthumous uh fame around our work. It's it's statistically probably not going to happen. Um, but I, I imagine that there's a lot more contentment and happiness and peace when we're making the stuff we feel like we were made to make and not, and just putting a lot of our energy and focus into that versus putting our energy and focus into things we can't control. I can't control how many people connect with my music, how wide it's spread. You know, I have, have some influence over that, but ultimately it's, I'm going to make it, and some people are going to like it, and most people probably won't. But I would much rather make that than not. I think thinking about the alternative, right? This is a very weird video. Um, I'm not even sure I'll post it, but just kind of almost just needed to say some of this to myself. Does that make sense? Um, and maybe it'll someone watching this will also get a little bit of encouragement as well. Um, it's normal that we have all of these insecurities and struggles. It's, it's just a very normal part of the human experience. Um, and that's strangely comforting. I don't know. Don't even know how to wrap up this video. Uh, thank you. You made it to the end. I appreciate it. Um, leave a comment. What do you want to make this year? Not in the sense of, oh, i got to make this to prove that I'm worth anything. What's just, if, if things fell perfectly in place for you, for this, this year, what will you have made by the end of it? Um, what do you want to make? Like, what do you want to make? Not what you think you should make, not what everyone expects you to make. What's something you want to make? I'd love to hear about it. For me, um, I've been in the process just the last couple of months of writing songs not just by myself, but with Tim Horsley and Joel Bazaar, two dear friends, drummer and bass player. And Joel's also my brother-in-law. Um, and it has been such a healing, um, just a beautiful experience to literally sit in a room with them and write music and lyrics together. Um, it, there's this vulnerability there, and it turns out we've written some stuff that I really like. I'm excited to share with you at some point. Um, but we've also, you know, we're also nowhere close to being ready to do an album and the songs may not be 
amazing, but boy, has it been such a such a life giving experience just to, especially coming out of a pandemic, coming out of just a hard couple of years for everybody, um, to get in a room and to do some creating. There's if we never release or record or put anything out, it will have been worth it just to express ourselves, even in a room with just the three of us, making some music, singing, playing, creating. Um, it's really fun. I was reminded of that. We just had uh, a round of live streams for my VIP members, and the challenge for the last couple months has been to write a bunch of songs. And we got to just listen to all the songs that they wrote. Uh, and it was just really encouraging. Um, made me really thankful. So um, I want to encourage you, I'm not asking you for anything. You, you can leave a comment if you want, but like legitimately, I just want to encourage you to think about what do you want to make this year? Do you want to make anything this year? Or is this maybe a year where you're going to let things lie fallow and just rest because it's been a hard couple of years? Um, or maybe this is the year you finally make that thing you've been thinking about. Uh, no pressure. Your worth isn't wrapped up in that. But if it's something you want to do, I'd like to encourage both you and me to think more about that. So for me, it's finish writing songs and record them with Tim and Joel and maybe play some shows. Yes, record them. Yes, do an EP or an album, but um, playing some shows too would just be would just be really fun. I'd really like that. I'd like to share that music with people in like the real world, especially after the last few years. So I have rambled for way too long. I'm having second and third thoughts about even posting this video, but thanks for listening. See ya.